handicapped children are just like every, you know, just like all other children. They need to be around other children. They need to go to school. They need to go to the doctor. And so if you don't have transportation to get to any of those resources, then it's totally missing from your life. So you can imagine how that must change their life from being a total shut-in, in many cases, to uh, being an integrated um, child into the rest of normal society. Across town, Jovitsa's day continues. He's collecting 11-year-old August, who's blind and travelling with his grandfather. Jovitsa has been driving August to weekly appointments for the past six months. This young boy's life has changed since the transport scheme started. Today he's joining other children at a school sports day. Many children at the school have physical or intellectual disabilities. Jovica is determined that society will embrace kids with disabilities. Today he makes his point by forcing the peak hour traffic to make way for young August. Having seen how isolated Slobo is, it's great to see kids who are out in the community. Many of these kids have been supported by Mary and Jovica and the Cherish Our Children organisation. When Mary started working with Ivana, she was 11 and unable to walk. The organisation was able to arrange medical care and surgery. And today, Ivana walks. That will make a massive difference to her future. She was in a wheelchair when we first uh, started uh, working with her. And um, we were successful at collecting enough funds to get her the surgery she needed, so she's able to walk now. She's very good in her school. And she's a absolutely beautiful, as you can see. She was not going to school before. She was waiting for Jovica every day to take her to school. And now she has, the word is predivno, very divine. Now she has a very divine life. And she's doing well in school. And she's enjoying her life. A lot of times when children like her get better, they're so far behind because they haven't had the chance. But with Kosi and Jovica, he was able to transport her to school, even when she was in a wheelchair. So now that she's perfectly normal and able to do everything herself, she hasn't been held back at all. So she really, Zahvalna, she has lots of gratitude for Kosi because otherwise her life wouldn't have been this way. Mary and Yuvitsa take the opportunity to talk to the parents and their kids to assess if anyone is needing support. August and his grandfather are making the most of their outing. Yuvitsa doesn't want to be late for his next client. Seven-year-old Victor has cerebral palsy. He needs a ride to kindergarten. Oy, 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 oy. It's more than just driving kids around town. Jovica says it's about improving the quality of life of his clients. Now we are going to special kindergartens for disabled children. I'm taking Victor there. Victor's likely to have a shortened life. Jovica is doing his bit to ensure Victor enjoys his days. Driving, I will go to collect outside. That's usually we done. Victor have several operation. Who knows what will be with him in the future? And nobody can give us a direct answer how long Victor is going to life. But in the middle time, we are friends and we are doing good job together talk with I'm <laughs> 
his work done, Jovica turns his attention to his own family. The final pickup of the day tells us much about Jovica. His 22-year-old son Alexander has autism and is the reason Jovica does what he does. This is Alexander, my son. He is 23 old and he's autistic. Alexander spent working uh, weeks, mean five days uh, in every week uh, in daily care center. Yeah. And uh, he called that school. Yeah. That's yeah. it. <laughs> but he enjoyed it. Yeah. Be, be, that means brum brum. Yeah. That means we must yeah. go and drive myself. OK, I do. It's a country with limited resources. But in our short time in Serbia, we've seen the massive difference that two people and a van can make to many lives.